praise the Lord, precious saints, even as we come to you this very night, we are going to pray specifically for prayer and fasting. And what comes through that is the breaker anointing. Hallelujah. Now, when the disciples said to Jesus, they said in Matthew 17, verse 19 to 21, then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not cast them out? So Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as is mustard seed, you will say to the mountain, you must be removed. However, but some, however, this kind does not go out except through through prayer and fasting. See, unbelief is an enemy to overcoming the mountains and obstacles in your life. So what seems to be impossible can be possible if we trust in Jesus Christ. Now in Matthew 13 verse 58, it says we find that Jesus did not operate in the power of God in his hometown because of the unbelief of the people. The disciples could not cast out a strong demon because of their unbelief also. So it's important to drive out unbelief from our lives. And one of the ways is that we accomplish this through prayer and fasting. The Prayer and fasting helps us to clear obstacles that our faith is now being distorted. So we need to be faith filled in our actions also. Hallelujah. Fasting coupled with prayer is one of the most powerful weapons to receive a breakthrough, to overcome unbelief. Jesus preceded his ministry with into Galilee. Jesus did not struggle with unbelief and he operated in faith throughout all of his ministry. When you are challenged with unbelief in any situation, I encourage you to fast and pray for that particular breakthrough, whatever that breakthrough might be in your life today. We don't know, but you know what that is. You know, the Bible says in Micah 2 verse 13, it says, the one who breaks open will come up before them and they will break out. They will pass through the gate and go out by it. Their kings will pass before them with the Lord at their head. Hallelujah. So what does it take for heaven to invade earth? It takes a breaker anointing. One of God's names in the Bible actually has the interpretation of breaker. A breaker anointing is a, you know, a catalytic deposit of the Holy Spirit where eternity breaks through into the natural realm. It is a holy invasion where the gates of heaven are open. This type of anointing will break through every obstacle and hindrance to furtherness of the gospel. It shakes every shackle loose that holds individuals and the church back from coming into their destination and inheritance. Hallelujah. Jesus promises that the kingdom suffer in violent, but the violent take it by force. The breaker anointing is the core anointing of the apostolic church for advancement, for them to be able to get through those gates, those hindering things that are stopping and being obstacles and stopping people from going in. So fasting is one of the ways to increase the breaker anointing. Hallelujah. It breaks. It sets apart. It puts things in order. Fasting breaks the mountain of poverty in your life. Fasting breaks the mountain of fear and releases great things in your life. Fasting causes us to become more fruitful. Fasting releases the rain in our lives. Fasting releases the Holy Spirit, increases prophetic anointing. Fasting breaks the mountain of sexual impurity. Fasting closes the breach and brings forth restoration. Hallelujah. Fasting restores the ancient paths. Hallelujah. Fasting causes you to have great victory over, over overwhelming odds. Hallelujah. So fasting has power to break things in your life. So let us pray that now. 
Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, with this breaker anointing today, I break right now, Lord, that you will bring such a breaker anointing upon their lives that as we declare these prayers, these things shall be established for us. I bind and rebuke and cast out every stubborn demon that would attempt to stubbornly hold on to their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now and I come against every stubborn stronghold and command it to yield to the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I put pressure on every stubborn demon and stronghold and break its grip in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot every stubborn root from their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every stubborn Lord iron like you to shatter and break in the name of Jesus Christ. I break the power of every proud, stubborn and arrogant demon that exalts itself against Christ and I command it to be uh, moved and released in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be bound and cast into the pit, the lake of fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of all iniquity in uh, their family lives that would stubbornly attempt to control their lives right now. In the name of Jesus, I come against all obstinate demons and break their influence in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke all stubborn, habitual patterns of failure and frustration in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke all stubborn pharaohs and that would attempt to hold God's people. And I command you to let people, the people of God, go in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I bind and rebuke all stubborn enemies who stubbornly oppose any of them and any of their progress. I rebuke all stubborn demons that would attempt to resist the power of God and the authority that they have through Christ Jesus. And I remind you powers, Lord, to resist in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every persistent pattern that limits them and render it powerless against them in the name of Jesus Christ. There is nothing impossible through faith. I release Lord faith right now against every stubborn and obstinate demon and I resist you steadfastly in the name of Jesus Christ. I weaken and I break down and pressure every stubborn demon and stronghold. You are getting weaker and weaker as we subject you as you are back by the name of Jesus and we are pray that we are also getting stronger and stronger we exercise long war against all stubborn demons until you are completely defeated and destroyed in from our lives in the name of Jesus Christ I lay siege against every stubborn stronghold through prayer and fasting and your walls to come down in the name of Jesus Christ I use the battering ram of prayer and fasting to demolish all the gates of every stubborn stronghold in the name of Jesus. Let every Jericho wall fall down in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every demonic stump be removed from their lives in the name of Jesus. In every name of Jesus, I pray today, I break the will of every stubborn spirit that would attempt to remain in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against all stubborn demons and strongholds in their family and that have refused to leave in the name of Jesus, you will go now. We will go now. I assault every demonic force that has been built for generations against them in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every stubborn rule and bull of Bashir from their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we break the will of every stubborn mule that comes against them. Lord, you are defeated and must bow to the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing is increased in their lives through prayer and fasting and every stubborn yoke is being destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ Heavenly Father touch them with your fire touch them with your breaker anointing through prayer and fasting there is great breakthrough this is Pastor Robert Clancy from Perth Australia from Narrow Path Ministries it is time to catch the fire repentance revival as we prepare the way of the Lord
Shalom.